There will come a time when your words will leap with effortless ease from the tip of your tongue. No doubt you have seen them. The poets that sweep in with grace and beauty like the highest eagle in flight. But don't you just love it when someone brings something new? I mean, you can tell when it's new. It's such a privilege to see. The checking of spot on page, the holding to the light like trying to decipher treasure maps written in invisible ink, which them which has been etched down, scratched out and written down again in firelight and phone light and the magic of crazy hours of night. This is the new stuff. It's exciting, it's exhilarating, the wondering how far you might fall or how high you might soar, but you go beyond what you have known when you share something new. I've seen rappers ripping pages from their spines, spit and spin their stories and then shed them like the shedding of skin. I've watched old men blush like young boys declaring love. Or yell prophecies through seething teeth, wrinkled page and clenched fist grip, drawn out and dropped, thrown out and cast out like the casting out of demons, then lovingly gathered back up and jammed back into vest pockets and side pockets. I've seen victims claim their victory here, speak words with more power than any page could hold down or any cage could hold in, taking the scrunched pages stored up within them, flattening them out and putting something new on them. Hearts like journals open. Thumb lick page turn, each sheet edge kiss drawn out and dropped leaves cascading, tears cascading. It is the marking of old days ending and new days emerging and stories still yet to be told and wings still yet to be used. You see, we all have baby feathers in there somewhere. That part of us still shedding, still molting, still growing, not knowing this world of earth and sky beyond this safe nest of knowing a young lady once said to me, she said, I always thought about writing poetry, but someone else has probably already written it and probably done it better, so why should I bother? I said to her, every note on the piano has already been played, and yet we still play. I want to hear the notes and the way you'd play them. I want to hear the words and the way you'd say them. Don't think that someone else having a voice disqualifies you from having your own, don't you know? You are born with a deep breath and a loud cry. God created you to be heard, so be heard. We are not your competition. No one here is your competition. We are your audience. We are not the judges of your doom, we are the witnesses to your glory. What tectonic plates in minds will shift because you took one single step? What fissures shall cause these veins of gold to rise from deep within this hardened earth? You don't know what the world looks like the moment after this? That's okay, neither do we. We stand on the edge of anticipation with you. I wish you the edge of the nest. I wish you blushing cheeks. Sweaty palms, trembling hands, trembling voice. I wish you fluster and flurry and paper round your feet. I wish you stage fright, but then the confidence to overcome it. May you move from being held to being carried, from seeing the world before you, leaping into the world, being for you. We delight in seeing your wings molt before our eyes. I would proudly gather your feathers and store them close to my heart so that I can say that I was there. Yes, yes, I was there when your voice took the air and your words just soared. Yeah! Yeah!